Hi guys, it's just another average hot sticky. Is it, are we in the dog days yet here on uh, Saturday morning, August 7th, 2022, somewhere around there. So I am just up on this beautiful morning just dealing with this unending fucking never ending barrage of fucking bullshit that I and every one of us go through uh, in, in, in our fucking lives. <clears throat> you, you know, it just, it, it's just that life is just an unbroken string of putting out little bitty fires, you know, uh, trying to stay on the basically miserable side of the truly horrible. Uh, you know, something as simple, of course, this is a fossil fuel ramp. Being a fossil fuel slave, uh, I have two of these fucking uh, little propane, you know, those little propane bubbles, those little five gallon propane tanks. So I've had no problem with this fucking propane tank uh, for the last two summers, uh, you know, operating my my gas grill since I'm too lazy to you know to actually build a fucking charcoal fire and now that I've gotten addicted to these fucking gas grills which uh, I never used a fucking gas grill in my fucking life till two fucking years ago I used the goddamn thing one time I remember when I was buying uh, this thing in Florida you know it had you had a choice between charcoal and propane and I was buying it from the guy and I said well I'm never even going to use the propane and he should have heard the guy burst out laughing uh, and he goes dude he goes you're gonna use the propane one time and you're never going back to charcoal that was his uh, prediction and guess what I used that fucking propane. It was actually Lulu down there in Florida. It was too fucking lazy to build a charcoal uh, fire. So she is the one. She puts in the, her propane tank and, and, and is firing up the fucking grill in, in about 15 fucking seconds. So uh, for now, for the rest of my life, I, I'm fucking addicted to this fucking propane. So anyway, what was that? Is it two and a half years that I have been a, a fucking propane addict? So, uh, you know, the gas, uh, the tank runs out of gas. So, like I always do, I, uh, like, maybe like a fool, because th this could have been avoided if I had just traded the tanks out. But I go down, I learned down in Florida that if you go to True Value Hardware, instead of trading the tank out, uh, you just, uh, instead of trading the tank out, you pay to have it refilled and you actually get more gas for less money. So I've been going to True Value Hardware for two and a half fucking years. So I go down to fucking True Value Hardware, which is where I'm headed now, and get the goddamn thing filled. It's $13.99, $14, uh, $6 cheaper than if I had just given them the empty tank and taken a full tank. So you save six bucks, and I hear you actually get more gas in the thing so I've been a big fan of true value so they fill up the fucking tank like uh, how many times has it happened before and I bring it home and I hook it up to the fucking thing and the and the tank has a fucking leak in it that something happened uh, in the filling uh, of the tank that uh, you can actually see the where where the fucking threading on the on the valve got fucked up 
and uh, so now uh, it's as long as the the valve is closed the gas is in there so now I've got five gallons of fucking propane in here and, and with the fucked up valve so I can't hook it up to, to the fucking stove I'm 100% sure it's the tank. It's not the uh, grill. It's not the regulator. It is the fucking tank. I'm 100% sure it's the fucking tank. And I'm 100% sure that True Value hardware fucked it up. So uh, here I am with the, the fucking, uh, you know, with the fucking thing trapped. And uh, going down here to act like a fucking Karen and say, okay, guys, you, uh, you fucked up uh, my tank when you were filling it yesterday. This is, this is open and shut. And let's see what I'm getting ready to deal with. I have spent, good God, uh, at True Value Hardware, in the last two months, I have spent over two thousand uh, dollars at this fucking store, and uh, I will put it to the test of uh, of their loyalty to a good customer. They're just going to tell me there's nothing they can do for me. Sorry uh, that we didn't fuck up your tank that you obviously brought us a defective I, I, I mean I know what they're going to say they're gonna take no fucking responsibility for it and uh, so I don't even know if they can put the fucking gas back into their big tank so uh, Rob had an extra empty uh, tank so I have an empty tank uh, that maybe uh, I can, uh, I, but, but I, my, uh, here's my guess. They're, they're going to deny any fucking responsibility. And then they're going to tell me there's no way that uh, they can get the gas back out of the defective tank. That's going to be the second thing. And then they're going to charge me $13.99, they're going to charge me the full price to fill up my empty tank. Or Rob's tank, whatever, you know what I'm saying. So this is my guess. See, uh, see if I call this right. But guys, you know, so here I am in my gas-sucking truck uh, driving to the fucking true value. Uh, all of this shit uh, dealing with this fucking bullshit and, and, and it is just every fucking thing that we touch anymore. I, I mean, I'm not acting like sometimes I feel like I, I am I the only person on the fucking planet who, who can't go fill up a fucking propane tank w w without a fucking uh, w w without a fucking uh, drama. You know, I was talking to uh, Basil a couple of days ago about this fucking bullshit he's been dealing with, with the Toyota dealership uh, in, in Ithaca, this unadulterated uh, horse shit uh, that, that he's been uh, fucking dealing with uh, up there with the Toyota dealership, you know, and as he was going, like, like him, um, as he's telling me a couple of days ago, he goes, him on everything is a scam. Everything is a scam nowadays. There, there is nothing that is not a scam or if, if it's not an outright scam where someone is ripping you off, it's the, uh, you know, it's the close cousin of the scam where these people fuck up your shit and then take no responsibility for it. But I will say, guys, uh, just just jaw-droppingly, you know, I finally, uh, with, with the, dealing with these motherfuckers at Verizon over this fucking uh, smartphone that I got last fall, uh, which was supposed to be 
$80 a month. $80 a month. The motherfuckers have been charging me a hundred, actually over $100 a month. Uh, you, you know, I've called and complained and everything else, and they say it's fixed, and, and then of course it's not fucking fixed. So this has been going on for months. So I, I, I will, <laughs> I will say with these motherfuckers uh, at Verizon ripping me off uh, over $20 a month for all this time. I finally took it back to the goddamn store where I bought it. And this very nice young man uh, spent almost two hours with me. We sat there for almost two hours. And uh, so what he told me was that uh, he could get it down from 104 to $86 that uh, my next bill would be $86, and that's the best he could do for me, but if I called this number and went through all of this shit with this, the, you know, some other uh, person in billing, they could take it down another $10, so where my bill would be $76, and I said, well, what about the fucking credit for the, uh, you, you know, for the fucking, eight months that you motherfuckers have been ripping me off and of course uh well sir uh, i'm not able uh you know you should have heard him backtracking and bumbling so anyway so i said you promise me that when i get my next bill that it's going to be for 86 dollars and he goes and he goes i guarantee you that it will be but if you call this number you can get it down to 76 so I just wanted to wait for the first bill from Verizon to make sure it went down to 86 you know where I could take it from there so I just got my bill from Verizon yesterday so guess what my Verizon bill is it's been a hundred and four dollars last month my Verizon bill is sixty three dollars sixty three dollars uh, uh whatever this dude did he took it down 41 dollars and, and i'm sure as shit not gonna call verizon at this point uh because now they're charging me you know i'm making 20 dollars a month so i figure in eight months time if they keep my fucking bill at 63 dollars i'm back to uh you, you know what i'm saying i'm back to zero so uh, anyway, there there is hope, but uh, speaking of hope, I am headed back to True Value for them to tell me how fucked I am. Uh, wish me luck and uh, good luck. I uh, get out there and, and dig through your own fucking mountain of bullshit in, in your own teeny weeny life. Bye, guys.